We are in the Tiger Bank Hospital Testing and the Triage Center, uh, which is an extension to respond to the COVID virus. Uh, currently, we have to make sure that people don't have to all go to the same uh, EC where they could be assessed. So to avoid such, now we have built this so that when people come in and they are presenting symptoms or they don't have symptoms but they are worried that they might be actually affected. They come here, here someone will be standing one meter trying to explain in terms of that what can we do for you and when someone says that I'm worried I'm presenting with symptoms and that I might be uh, COVID positive, someone will take them through here. I'll show you how they separate them. Someone might say that, no, I don't have symptoms, but I might have been exposed to someone who's positive. That's where they go. So here is just a general conversation with a one meter distance. A person is asking you, it's not necessarily wearing a protective clothing, and then you come here to here. Um, once you are inside here, yeah? now someone in uniform, the health professional, will direct you that if you do not have symptoms, you come this side. If you do have symptoms, you come this side. Because when you are symptomatic, you are likely through droplets to spread the infection. In this side, it becomes easier and quicker because they will screen you in terms of uh, uh, in what you need to do. If it's so happen that you get symptoms, it's going to happen. So this one, this one immediately have to be out and done. And then this side, those ones who will be symptomatic, uh, presenting with a respiratory problems, uh, they could be tested where you find that these tubercles. There will be health professionals who will be taking the swab. In some cases, there might be those who find that actually they are very acutely ill. Maybe they cannot breathe and so forth, but they don't need admission per se. There will be some in this people, some of the like stretchers in case that maybe they need the oxygen. Now, in likelihood, in the worst scenario, where that people, some might need to be admitted, um, we have got already extended our beds. We have got about 350 beds, COVID beds, where people could be admitted uh, so that they could be separated. Again, worst scenario where you need filled beds, you find that the circumstances are that everyone needs to be admitted. This area could also be extended. We can accommodate about 50 beds as a filled bed, just like we will have other areas where we're using community walls that could be filled beds where you need a, a bed and also the oxygen, and then you could have cubicles. So, this is one of the 17 of the testing and triage sites so that we don't mix all the patients and also in order to fast track the testing so that we can flatten the curve.